Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the video. Today we're going to get started on the Mofex Medicom Symbiote Suit, aka the Black Suit Spider-Man, aka the Secret War Suit, no matter what you want to call it. The point of this is that this Spider-Man has been much anticipated and we're going to jump directly into it because I am not the first video you see and I'm probably not the last. So I hope that you enjoy and uh, I keep you entertained. Here we are with our Black Suit Spider-Man looking utterly fantastic. I try to do a little something to bring out the silhouette and as you can see in the reflection there, you see my hand pointing right there. Um, like I said, my lighting situation is kind of crazy. So I've tried to like bring it to the forefront and uh, make the best of it because here we are with this fantastic suit and I'm trying to get this lighting just right so I can get the perfect amount of silhouette from it. Honestly, very happy with it. As you can see here, if we turn around our Spider-Man and I'm turning my camera ever so gently, uh, we have a really beautiful silhouette in Spider-Man. As you can see the light on it, right? It's looking really good. I know some people will have some paint app issues, myself included. Uh, I've had it on two of mine, but I don't see any sort of real issue, Photo like photography-wise. I know it is, if you're a stiff loafer, it is gonna be a problem. But honestly, the way this Spider-Man is sculpted is very beautiful, especially expression in the eyes. Now, let's actually uh, break that down a little bit, get a little bit of focus on that right as you can see we have that that nice brow there that shows the expression in the eyes very very well super happy with that and then articulation here is even more it leaves me just so ecstatic because uh everyone knows i had a fantastic time with the ben riley i had a fantastic time with the moffat spider-man it's literally like in the intro of this uh very video for like a very long time so articulation wise we all know i'm super happy as you can see we can hit our t-pose with no problem our head articulation involves a lot of movement so you can see we can actually get a very nice gymnastic like movement in our neck we can look down very well too we can tilt side to side with no problem so yeah spider-man got he got the bees knees then we have our beautiful butterfly joint which allows us to rotate deeply in that is actually really really important especially for spider-man and rotate backwards especially for our, our movement as you can see our reverse movement on our crunch is beautiful our ab crunch going forwards equally as beautiful and it may not seem this way with our crunch forward right now but coupled that with our drop down leg movement and the ability to move forward as you can see here we are looking really nice so far i know this movement seems like really crazy right but with movement like this we can actually set up for something really nice and i'll show you right now if we tilt our head back right we use our double jointed knees we tilt our feet back, and then we have a free a free swinging pose, right? We've just finished like jumping off a web and we're jumping forward. This is what I call the gallop pose, and it looks really nice. Now, we can also change this pose directly into a spread knees out, one leg forward. Look at this. Now we have a cross-reference pose. Articulation-wise, Mofex and, and Hasbro uh, probably have some of the best articulation on Spider-Man ever. Ours look a little a little bit more fluid here with our proportions here. I know my leg dropped out. I mean, my foot dropped out a little. We also have a toe pivot there as well. I love that they added the blue at the bottom of the suit, making it feel like uh, the coloring process from the 80s is all there. Shout out to Mike Zek. Shout out to... to uh, all the 80s comics artists on Spider-Man who really did a fantastic job. McFarlane, Mike Zek, Mark Bagley, Eric Larson. Like, you guys, like, oh, John, oh, John Bodefold. And I popped out my arm. And I don't mind that because I love this movement. I'm a little bit excited. But yeah, look. The more I kind of just move around with the Spider-Man, you can see how much you can get. We can also tilt side to side as well. So this Spider-Man has a ton of movement, just like our previous one, but our black silhouette kind of just makes it look a lot better. Like I won't front, like black silhouettes that don't eat up light, uh, they do an amazing job. Like as you can see here, he's not eating up too much light, so it's really fantastic. With all of that being said, now what we're going to do is we are going to jump into an accessories. So let's get to it. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, now I've turned up my brightness a bit because I realized my hand was getting in the way. Ooh, spooky, right? And then 
uh, oh, it's Halloween, yeah. Well, it's not Halloween, but you know, you know what I mean. It's October. Now, real quick, first thing I want to do is we're going to move Spider Man back. And the first thing I want to talk about is our webbing accessories. I kept them in tray because I actually end up losing these guys all the time. We will get our short webbing, our long webbing, and two web lines, which I'm, I'm more than happy with that. I have uh, people that created webbing for me. There are bendy webs, and there is another person whose name I cannot remember, so please message me so I can add you to the credits here in the description. Uh, I hate not remembering. I want to make sure you guys get credit, so please message me. Um, but yes, as you can see here, we have our webbing, right? One thing with the webbing, though, was really cool, is I enjoyed the fact that they added the web backpack. This is a thing for Spider-Man at the time in the comics. I'm really glad they added this in. It's really utterly, it's one of those things that I thought was really cool to add on. It's like whoever is doing this stuff is actually paying attention to the comics, and I appreciate that stuff. Then we will have our hand accessories, and we actually get a ton of hands. Now, with the black suit, you have two ways of shooting your webbing, right? There's the over fist when you have the symbiote, which is over the fist, and that's okay. I, I enjoy that. And then when his cloth suit, the black suit, which he made afterwards, you have your thwip thwip hands. So, ooh, that was wild that I even dropped that. <laughs> but I have it right here. So we have our thwip hands. And I do enjoy that Moffex puts them on this nice little piece here. So we have our thwip hands. And then we have solid fists, which are either going to be for fighting or thwipping as well. We have those. We will have open web line hands. These will be for holding your webbing of any sort. Then we have our magnetic feet. And then we have magnetic hands to match. All right. Then we will have open palm action hands. Web swinging, jumping, holding somebody's heads when you beat them up. Important things, right? Last but not least, we have two more sculpts. Now, with our default sculpt that you see there, we also have an alternative sculpt. This one, um, I believe it is a slightly different design. This one has the more arced eyes, whereas the other one is more roundish. This one is definitely more arced in the brow. I love this sculpt so much. <laughs> Black Suit Sided. This is very much anticipated. And then in the 80s, we had Pete with our 5 o'clock shadow. Growing up and being an adult, let's actually get some proper lighting on that. There we go. Look at that. Symbiote suit coming down. We have lots of options here with this one. So I really like this sculpt. This is definitely very, very 80s. So now that we've covered accessories, we've gone over that. One more thing I want to talk about is that Mafex is indeed doing the authentication stuff. As you can see here. Proving that it's genuine product. Proving that they, they don't bang with bootlegs. For obvious reasons. Uh, nobody would want to. So there's that. We are going to jump into the size comparison. This is where it gets crazy because technically there's a lot of stuff to compare to. So I'm going to give it my best go. I hope you guys appreciate it. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, guys. Now we're going to jump into the size comparison. This is wild and fun all at once. First things first, let's get it up against the Mofex Red and Blue, the classic costume. I think that people would enjoy this. I actually have the first release. I recently just got the reissue. I've not even taken it out of box yet. So here's my first issue styled one and as you can see i've worn through his joints completely to the point where he's like worn out like <laughs> so yeah i definitely needed that new one but here where they are standing up side by side looking really really good i hope that you guys will enjoy this part of the video because this is where it gets like i said it gets really fun then we're going to do the mofex venom and what's really cool about that is again i have the first release i did hear about the reissue being a tad bit taller and having smoother joints uh, if somebody want to trade me for that, let me know, because I need that uh, that second release. Here we are with the Mofex Venom, right? Looking real good. I think that these look really good, right? But of course, if you want the bigger buffer stuff and all that other jazz, then we're going to take it to the Marvel Legends stuff. So let's start comparing to the Marvel Legends stuff. Here we are with a retro animated suit Spider-Man. This uses the first appearance body, right? And as you can see, Mofex is a little closer in size to that first appearance. So I don't mind that at all. If you want the big, beefy, stocky stuff. 
here we are with a Marvel Legends Venom. This is, again, our animated one, just to show you how big he is. I'm not gonna, I'm trying to leave these feet flat, but again, these guys sit in poses for so long, stuff gets uh gets worn out or like warped a little bit. So as you can see, this big guy's way bigger, but it still does look very good. Then we have our Marvel Legends symbiote suit Spider-Man, and we already know this guy's a little bit bigger. This is our adult Spider-Man. Again, I like that the two are completely different and they give you what you want out of it. I, oh, by the way, I swapped the head. That is a future foundation head on there. So don't think like, oh, he has a different one. That's a future foundation uh, head on there. I thought it looked really cool. And then we have our modern Venom, right? And again, when you see how big this guy is, all these variations, they work because comic wise, art style wise, you can use a bunch of different variations to make it work for whatever you're doing. And I love that. I really, really do. So if you want to fit a particular genre and style like modern Spider-Man and you want to do the Stuart Emmerman style, the Marvel Legends might be for you, especially with the small eyes, right? But let's say you want a classic 80s style and you wanted a Mike Zek cover, the Moffex may be for you. So there's a ton of different things and variations and variables that come to action figures that I'm truly starting to enjoy a different part of it. And it's like, if you can identify like a toy by the art style or the artist, I think something like that is not only dope, but that immortalizes the hell out of you. And I appreciate stuff like that. Here we are with the Marvel Legends Ben Kinsley, the Hobgoblin. Shout out to this cloth goods from uh, CJ, right? Then we're doing stuff like the Valiverse. Here we are with one of my uh, army builders from Valiverse. And you know these mooks is going to get beat up on, right? And as you can see, Spider-Man is significantly smaller. But that doesn't mean for all the acrobatics that he does, all the poses and crazy things that you do, that it can't work out for you. So again, it's really going to be one of your, those things that is your choice. Here we are with an articulated icons ninja. Here we are with Marvel Legends Hammerhead. Again, I like that. There's a lot of variation here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Because I have him here. Then we have the Marvel Legends Kingpin. In case you want to do the back in black storyline but you'd have to get him in an orange jumpsuit, so remember that, right? Big boys rule the camp, y'all, big boys. <laughs> then we can do my main man, Kuga. So here we are with an SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Kuga, who is always gonna be the tiniest one, but Mafix is a little bit closer to SHF, and these guys look really, really good together, right? And then we will do a Mezco Me on a Gomez body, and then we won't even have to throw a Mythic Legends in there, because we already know those big boys are big. Oh. But let's do it anyway, honestly. So here's a Mezco me who won't stand right now. So we'll just put him right there. Let's move these guys back. And then last, we'll throw in a Mythic Legion just to show you, you know, in case you have some questions, right? That's a really big boy right there. But yes, I, I have truly enjoyed this. It has been a very good hype today, trying to review it, making it look special with our new little colorful background. Shout out to Mario for this new floor, 796 Studios. But thank you guys so much. Again, we're trying to hit that 100K mark, but I don't think we're going to get it. And that's fine, you know. But I do want to thank you guys continuously for all the support, the subbing, the likes, the sharing of my stuff. Please visit the website. I've been updating it, updating, updating it. Um, for real, I appreciate it. And even if you aren't subbed and you're watching the video for the first time, thanks for watching. Like, for real, it means a lot. So shout out to everybody, as usual. Shout out to people who have been subbing to the channel uh to the people who have joined the, the backer stuff too i appreciate y'all i'm gonna try to do something special for y'all for the end of the year and as always please be good do good drink your water guys Later.